Okay, so now you're done with that activity. Um, how did it go? I just want you to think for a second of how it went and how we could make it better. And just to remind yourself, the last activity you did was sending um, one of these numbers with your micro bit and recording it and sending it to someone else, having them decode it. So I don't know if you found this. I did this in class um, before, um, and this is the first time I'm recording this video um, for an online class. So hopefully you might have seen that some of them were easier to figure out than others. So for example, if I wanted to send either a 3, well, let's do this. If I wanted to send a 1, a 3, a 7, or a 15, really all I'm displaying, you can see if you take off the leading zeros, a 1 is just a 1, 1, a 3 is 2, 1s, a 7 is 3, 1s, and a 15 is 4, 1s. If I'm sending those, it all just looks like 1s to the other person, right? So the problem is, is right now we have these random pauses in the middle here, right? So if I don't know what these pauses are, I'm not sure if they're really long pauses. I could think that maybe I'm sending two ones instead of one one or three ones instead of one one. If they're really short pauses, then maybe I think that I should be, maybe someone is sending me three ones, but I only think they're sending me one or two. So the problem with um, sort of communication and digital communication is that you have to have um, an agreed upon rate between the sender and receiver um, when you're communicating. It's super important because you don't know, you only have these two zeros and ones to communicate. You don't know if they are um, sending you um, two ones very quickly or one one slowly. So the sort of standard for that is something called um, baud rate. So we call this serial communications, so it's serial digital communications, and it uses a baud rate. So a baud rate is simply how many bits, so sorry for that typo, per second are being transmitted and received. So remember, a bit is just a single zero or a one, so a single zero or a one. Both the receiver and the sender must know the baud rate in order to decode the signal. So again, we just sort of explained that in the last slide, but really think about why that is. Okay. Okay, so we just talked about serial communication, which is communicating on just one channel. Okay. Parallel communication is sending messages on multiple channels. Okay. So you can imagine we just, if you thought about your, your thing, we had one micro bit communicating to someone else. Well, if we had five micro bits and we were sending numbers on all five of those micro bits, ones and zeros, that would be parallel communication. So the advantages and disadvantages of serial and parallel communication. Parallel, you can send a lot more information, right? Because think about that five micro bit example. You can send five times the number of numbers, right? But you're requiring five, five times more stuff five times more channels to communicate. And serial, you are um, limited more by your um, only one channel, but it's, it's cheaper because you don't have to have all of those different channels. Okay, so now let's think about, again, I want you to sort of pause the video here and just think about what if you wanted to send a word? So what if you wanted to send a word instead of a number? We looked at the numbers. So go ahead and pause for a second. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at something called an ASCII table. So it's ASC2, but everybody calls it ASCII. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's say we wanted to send the word bad. B-A-D, bad. Well, the nice thing about um, this ASCII table is it's a standard that allows us to convert from letters to binary, right? So if I wanted to send bad, I would send first this for B, right? And then I would send this for A, and then I would send this for D. 
So it's just a standard to communicate. So you can you can send anything, any sorts of information. Probably this this video stream that you're seeing right now is sent in um, in binary, and all the text that you read in Canvas is stored in binary. So all the sort of information that you see on a daily basis is stored in binary, and it's just converted with standards such as ASCII. So I want to leave this these two problems up to you. Um, these will actually probably help you study for your midterms with a little more unit conversion problems. If you're having problems with these, with solving these problems, you should ask your instructor of the course um, to, to help you go over it or to um, post some hints or so solutions. Or maybe potentially post on the discussion board of the course um, to ask fellow classmates for help. Um, the one thing I do want to give you is that what you should get for number one is if we have this this serial communication, this serial port, a baud rate of 8650, and these are sort of typical values. To send this type of file, so a three megabyte video, which isn't very big, um, it's a pretty, pretty tiny file, it would actually take you 46 minutes to send across the serial port. So now the other type of communication we want to talk about is fiber optic communication, which is sort of the standard today for sending large amounts of data. And a fiber optic cable can get speeds of um, like three gigabytes per second. So if you have three gigabytes per second, if you solve the same problem, send the same three megabyte video, it's going to take one one thousandth of a second. So it's pretty crazy um, the difference between those two things. So setting it with fiber optics, which is basically just using, um, instead of the electromagnetic waves we were seeing in um, the, the wireless communication, this is actually just short laser pulses of light. So it says optic because it's light. These are short, just short, of, short, short laser pulses of light. And when the laser's on, it's one. And when it's off, it's zero. And it guides it down a fiber. So that's, so that's the idea. And then the receiver just receives the light and reads whether it's on or off. And so again, it's still just another form of digital communication.